I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. Well, hear the music, get inspired, stand up with us. Let's make this week a great week. Let's start moving just a little bit, all right? We have got Clay and Elizabeth on from High Performance Gym, and you saw him jumping rope. <laughs> How did you do, How that? Did you do that so fast? Uh, years of practice, yeah, sir. But see, you were He's doing it so fast. I bet there was no rope attached to those handles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> just cut it off. You made just cut it off. Just it's cut all it a noise maker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that next time at the gym. Just yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't that like one of the best like cardio things to definitely, do? Definitely, definitely. Works your coordination a lot, your timing, oh, yeah. you know, and it's a cheap, easily pulled. You know, so some always Shove recommend my clients. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about High Performance Gym. Sure. Um, we were founded in New York City in 2007, and we moved down here in 2012, um, me and my wife Elizabeth, and uh, we teach a variety of exercise modalities, from uh, kettlebells to calisthenics. My wife teaches Pilates. Um, I also teach jiu-jitsu and boxing. Oh. So we do a lot of stuff. Um, it's all in a small group atmosphere, anywhere from four to a maximum of ten people. So you feel like you're really getting that one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Yeah, exactly. and, it, and, and when somebody new comes in, they're, they're, we're able to focus on them because everybody else is a little bit more established. They know yeah. what they right. Know we can drill. we can recommend stuff that's a little safer yeah. for them to do to get them started. Okay, who would make an ideal you know client or customer to you? If someone's at home because I have a lot of people that's like my biggest thing is just getting going. Like you know, some people right. just don't enjoy exercising. Yeah, well that that's kind of like our mission is to make it fun first because yeah. if you don't enjoy it then you're, you're never going to stick to it mm -hmm. so that's kind of why we have a lot of variety in what we do because if you don't like say kettlebells for instance well we're probably not going to do them again tomorrow yeah. you know so we kind of keep it mixed up um, a lot of the most effective things in exercise that's all we do we don't waste your time on machines and things like that we try to build you into more of an athlete I like that right and isn't it too sometimes the things that you hate the most are the ones that really work the best right. well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the things you, know. you yeah the things you avoid you know the things yeah. you avoid are things you need the most of so yes. like and that's running, why we go to a yeah. place like you because you will yeah. make us do it if I'm sometimes with myself I'm like yeah, I feel like a mile's good. I don't need to go do that <laughs> extra two or three. Well, we offer a basic class, too, that's only 45 minutes. So it's nice for people to get in and get out. And they yeah. don't have to spend an hour and a half in the gym in order to get out. So we're not doing treadmills and money. stuff. We're doing no, no, symmetric no, or Yeah, it's a little really? bit of a throwback, if you would. I mean, uh, we really draw on stuff as far back as the late 19th century. For, for instance, kettlebells came from late 19th century in, in Russia. Yeah. Um, so then moving into, like, calisthenics and basic gymnastic stuff, like handstand walking and tumbling but you said you know wh what is our ideal client I mean really anybody who's really driven and really wants it more so that than anything has to do with age or if you're overweight or if you have or an injury level. I mean level. you really just have to bring your game face and then yeah. enjoy it and then everything yeah. falls into yeah. place I like that will you do Thank some you. of the kettlebell Absolutely. stuff for us because this yeah. is so different than like a, a, a normal dumbbell workout sure. right even if you're using the same kind of I mean you know, amount of weight yes ma'am this is a, about a 25-pound kettlebell. It's 12 kilograms. Elizabeth is, is doing a squat, which you guys are all familiar with, and yeah. for good reason. It is the king of exercises. I mean, Those the, the most... Those booties, ladies, it's yes. what makes it pop. Yeah, yes. booties, thighs, hamstrings, mm -hmm. and also just good for spinal health. I mean, so she's going to move oh, from now there. She's getting, now she's getting crazy. A little high pull here, right? She's yep. popping the hips in. She's letting her arms kind of guide the kettlebell up, so it's getting slightly more technical. Yeah. And uh, after five of those, she's going to transition to a swing. Good. Right on. So you can see this differs from the squat because there's less knee bend, so there's going to be a lot more glutes and hamstrings driving the weight up, and that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants butt dry, yes. and not big legs. Exactly. So the swing is, is great for that. ponytail whipping in the back cuts <laughs> you down. It is. <laughs> Slow you down. It's, it's cools you down. It keeps yeah. the air moving. It, it keeps the air down. moving. What's a good limit, too, or not limit, but like a starting point for a kettlebell? Because sometimes you go a little bit higher than you normally mm -hmm. You that's know, a great question. Dumbbell. You kind of need you need one to kind of learn the technique, and then you need one that's a decent good weight. That might seem heavy, but it's not too bad. Yeah, you especially need when you're doing like a two-handed swing. Right. right? Exactly. Right. Yeah, and you can vary it up by doing single arm stuff too. Okay. So you can yeah. do the same two exercises. So. Yeah. What were you doing during the break over like in the tees? I saw you like whipping it up and, oh, doing, that, <laughs> and doing that. That was the number. kettlebell snatch. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. oh so that's that going to get right A lot there. more technical, and again, we go back to building like a better athlete and not using machines because, you know, y our exercise, yeah. our athleticism falls off as we get older. Yeah. So you want to do things in the gym that work to 
to preserve that, that challenge you from an athletic standpoint, that's a hard move to do. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it keeps your mind occupied. Uh -huh. And with this type of exercise, you can do just a strict kettlebell workout in 15 minutes. Yeah, because it's, it, it's burning move, a lot. Yes. That wouldn't be a beginning move for somebody, because you could drop that. I mean, you, would you need a, glo a glove? I mean, why, why would <laughs> well, There's definitely variations, and, well, and well, you have to you progress. Did, I wouldn't think you'd walk in the gym doing that sucker. I mean, no. if you're, if you're you would progress to it. Yeah. No, yeah. And it gives you something to strive for. You're yeah. like, I want to do the snatches like everyone else was doing in the gym. And, and eventually you'll get it. And that's kind of good about rubbing shoulders with other people who are yeah. like-minded. They're going to drive you to reach your goals. You're going to be inspired by them as well. See, that's the old theory. If you play golf with somebody better than you, you'll play better. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, where are y'all located so people can We're located on Rocky Creek Road at the intersection of Feaster, which is right by Woodruff and Feaster, right okay. by Hobby Lobby and Trevenia. Oh, yeah. okay. and all those Perfect. spots. I know exactly yes. where that is. High right. performance gym. Go by and see Clay and Elizabeth. They're on Facebook too. They're great people. They'll come and help you out. Can you jump rope like the old man? Uh, I'm not quite in that detail. Yeah, but that's because you do it without cutting the cords off, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, is, exactly. <laughs> this is Chip and Dip Day, and yeah. we would like to know what's your favorite chip, and do you dip it, and into what you dip it? Oh, multiple questions. Multiple questions. So that's many to think about. Part A, Part B, whatever. Let us know on Facebook.